PC upgrades provide quick boost to your experience. A CPU and RAM upgrade can open new realms of possibilities. But PC parts are getting larger and sometimes you run into sizing issues. Or maybe your motherboard PCIe lanes are full, especially with those modern GPUs occupying 3.5 slots. Do you need a new motherboard? Surely there's a solution. Races E Studios presents the solution to allow you to fit several different types of PCIe adapters. NVMe adapter, SATA board adapter, USB 3.0 adapter, USB Type-C adapter, that's a lot of adapters, and even a 10 gigabit Ethernet NIC network interface card. And the best part, all of these are going to sit underneath the GPU, that's crazy. Modern GPUs occupy 3.5 slots. There is a way, are you a believer? Allow me to show you the way. So we're going to slot this GPU in, and I promise you there is a way to use all of those. I know you're not convinced, I know you think this is clickbait, but there is a way. The real question is why has no one else done this? Well, we're about to find out. Hopefully it's reliable. Now, what is this method that I speak of? Oh, that's some really tight tolerance there. Check that out. Absolutely a perfect fit on this GPU. Okay, here it is. Right there. That's not very flattering looking, but this is it. Now you've probably seen these before. They go by the name of a PCI riser adapter. So that would be a expansion card usually to mount your GPU, something like this one here, in a vertical manner. So that's quite cool for your gaming rig if you want to have your GPU look a little bit more flashy, but we're going to repurpose these. Now I have used this quite recently in a Leon Lee PC-011 Dynamic White HPC240 case transplant and it does look really good there. We've got an EVGA GTX 970 in our riser adapter and yes that's a workstation. Can you believe it? it looks really good in the gaming format there. Very useful. But back to our situation. Can we perhaps use this vertical riser in a workstation system? Well uh, we can have a look. Chances are it's not going to work. Uh, hence the case swap. If you want something flashy, go for the case swap. But in saying that, these cases are to make life easier, not necessarily flashy, but fair point. It would be nice to, uh, to spruce these things up. So this is that. We have five adapters to test. Two designs of different lengths. How are they different? Well, presenting and loading Lab Zero. Let's do it. Let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail, getting all scientific on you here. That's our motherboard of interest, the HP Z840's motherboard. Notice the PCIe slots. We're going to focus in on them. Slot 1, ideal for those small PCIe adapters. Right now I've got my 970 Samsung boot drive in there. Slot 2, ideal for your GPU. Probably going to be one of those RTX 2070s or 3070s, 3080s, 4080s, 4090s thereabouts. Now slot 3 is usually completely occupied by the GPU, it will usually occupy 3.5 slots. And same for slot 4, we just don't have access to these slots under normal circumstances. But if you've got a small slimline workstation GPU, you can totally make use of it. Now slot 5, really ideal for most adapters, things like your USB-C adapters uh, fit in there quite well. And slot 6 is perfect for things like a NVMe adapter, I've got my Aorus adapter in there for NVMe storage. And slot 7, quite ideal for uh, PCIe adapters as well. So checking what I currently have these uh, slots occupied with. We got our 970 boot drive and an NVMe adapter. Slot 2 they occupied by the uh, RTX 3090 Ti. We have our NVMe adapter in slot 6. We got a USB Type-C adapter in slot 5. And in slot 7 we have a USB 3.1 adapter. But there is a catch. There are more adapters that need to go in and the slots are not available. So we have maybe another NVMe adapter, maybe a Wi-Fi card, maybe a 10 gigabit Ethernet card. Let's do some quick calculations and we have two options. Can't guarantee these will work 100% but let's give it a go. So underneath our GPU right now there are two slots, slot 5 and slot 4 that are unoccupied. Now slot 5 we could put a riser adapter in and we could even do it on slot 4 but there is one 
slight hiccup, or maybe two hiccups. The first and main hiccup is going to be side panel. It won't fit. The second problem is thermals. Once you start putting hardware outside the case, your thermal properties are going to go in a disastrous direction. So stay tuned for part two. I know it's not pretty, I know it breaks all the rules, but I am using all the PCIe lanes on that machine, would you believe it? I'm not going to call it a word first, surely someone else has done this, but I haven't seen it. So maybe there's a reason, maybe it's not very reliable, maybe it's unstable. I can confirm it's a little bit unstable, but we will give this a go in the quest of using every possible PCIe lane on this card. And yes, those cables go underneath the GPU, would you believe it? Oh, sorry, we had a PCIe malfunction, quick forced reboot. That may happen if your PCIe riser adapters of a cheap quality, but more on that on the next video. For now, let's get back to the video at hand. Here's our modern GPU, RTX 3090 Ti, the Zotac Apollo Extreme to be specific. Now it's quite a large, beefy GPU, not the biggest on the market, but definitely uh, right up there. Now, the key challenge for us is overall the uh, clearance. We need to be able to use the PCI slots underneath, and that's where these riser cables come in. Uh, so right now, you'll notice there's a little bit of gap there. In fact, uh, a very small gap, but just enough. If we play our cards right here, and if my measurements are down and precise, this is totally going to work. Check that out. We can install one of these adapters underneath the GPU. That's got to be one of the coolest mods I've ever seen because normally we completely lose those uh, functionalities underneath our GPU. And if GPU is just getting bigger and bigger, this could be a pretty cool solution if you need more uh, usability out of your machine. So riser adapters, we're going to give this a test run. Is it going to be stable? I cannot guarantee it. Is it going to work? Well, there's some caveats here. Not all PCIe adapters will fit. In fact, out of all the ones I've tested, only one brand is actually cleared. There probably are others, but this is the only one I've found so far that clears underneath the GPU. Most of them are just a little bit too large. So come with me on this journey. I'm going to show you the adapters. We'll use our model uh, ancient GPU. Had this one for probably at least 10 years now. Serving well, 970. But let's do some testing here. We've got our machine of interest. Sorry, highly blurry footage there. Hopefully the camera will catch up with us eventually. But uh, there's our 970. So we're going to do some test fitting. Now, theoretically, with our riser adapter, and here's the first one of interest, it should clear the GPU. Oh dear, that's problematic. Very, very dangerous here. You don't really want to be working over open case, but don't worry, I'm experienced. I've done this before. Definitely don't recommend it. Okay, here we go. There's our first adapter here. Now, this particular one is of a decent length. You'll notice the protective cover on there as well. Now, there are different lengths. We will have to test to see which one of these is actually going to be suitable to clear our GPU and allow us to mount it. But check that out. Now, these have a reinforced PCIe adapter as well, which is ideal normally for mounting a GPU, just so they don't rip out of the socket. Uh, but in our case, we're not going to mount a GPU in there, although if you were really pushing it, you might be able to do so. Just make sure that slot is uh, capable of handling the GPU. And obviously you've got to mount the skilly, but there it is. First one mounted. Now you'll notice a couple of problems. It's obscuring all the PCIe lanes, so that's suboptimal. But once we occupy them with cards, and with a little bit of flex, we might just do it. So I think putting this one on slot four is going to be more optimal given the length. So that should perfectly clear our GPU and any other expansion cards in our lower PCI slots. Theoretically, we'll, we'll hope that it does. Now let's test it with our modern GPU. Hopefully it's going to clear. Now very tough to get this GPU in there. It is an absolute precise fit. So if this works, it's going to allow me to run some pretty cool adapters. We'll check them out shortly or more specifically in the next video. Okay, let's go for the next test. We'll confirm that one. It's definitely cleared. Now you'll notice if you try and insert the GPU, it may not actually slot into the PCI slot. If there's any resistance at all, that means the adapter's not clearing the GPU. And if you force it, you will cause damage. So Murphy's Law applies here and any other laws you can imagine. Uh, definitely be careful, don't destroy your hardware. But let's size it up, let's get some measurements in case you want to shop for some alternatives. These maybe aren't the highest quality out there, you could definitely go with branded ones if they match these measurements. So these are literally down to the millimeter, sorry if you're 
running in uh, anything other than metric system but there it is right down to the millimeter i'm going to recommend that you do not exceed that measurement by my eye that's somewhere around 14 millimeters uh, which is a really really fine amount but some of the other adapters if it's 15 mil trust me it does not clear the gpu uh, pinning your gpu however okay next adapter this particular one is the same design as you can tell because it clears the gpu but also the length is slightly different we've got a slightly longer one on this application uh, but it does look really good the benefit here is you can tweak these to be different lengths there are two pci slots underneath our gpu that are of interest and if we find the right balance of these we could potentially run two additional pcie expansion cards it would be lovely to have a wi-fi card in there or even most importantly getting 10 gigabit networking on there that's my key goal okay let's check out the next one here as well this is a slightly shorter variety I believe this is the 15 centimeter one but let's remove the cover and do a quick test fit but these should be really similar to the previous ones and don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content so far let's just double check what we're gonna fit well this here is a really really cool nvme adapter it's got a fan built in i've had to remove the backplate mounting bracket here but that's the uh, jehi sk9 adapter definitely check those out they're really cool and i've done a little modification putting some thermal conductive pad in there as well for added cooling now you'll notice on this particular slot slot three it's open-ended uh, which means we would normally be able to slot something like this card in there now this particular one is interesting if by some chance you were short on sata connectors this adapter here can give you SATA 3.0 ports, so probably more ideal for the older workstations, maybe the Z800 in particular. But even on this one, if you ever found need for a SATA or eSATA port, these adapters are great. Okay, where's that camera at? Okay, refocused. Took a while. It's very handy. We could totally pull this off. We could put one of those ports in. Maybe not that particular adapter, but nonetheless, just to give you a demo, let's see if it actually clears the GPU. Be quite frustrating if this scratched up the GPU itself so very very delicate on this fitment hopefully I don't crunch anything oh there goes something it's okay it's only the light hardware's still good and we still see what we're trying to achieve so slotting it in now checking here I feel a little bit of resistance is that gonna okay no that's cleared perfect gotta make sure you get the slot fitment correct and here's the test fit moment of truth does it clear the GPU is this length spot on uh, it does help if I fit that the right way around let's flip it there it is success totally totally achievable here we can tie this off a few cable ties or related ties would be great we do want it to be secure we don't want it to interfere with the GPU fans in particular not worth ruining a GPU uh, for a small PCIe expansion but a little bit of double-sided tape and some cable ties we will totally get this secured so that's very viable note you will not be able to access the external ports unless you go through the port down the bottom on your z840 there is a little access port now next adapter this one's really cool it's a usb 3.0 and usb c but it also has a internal 20 pin header which allows you to hook up an additional set of uh, modifications so one particular adapter that i'm interested in is more usb c ports very handy for these modern cameras but we'll deal with that soon so checking clearance okay that's seemingly working well the only problem will be the access to the ports but again if you route your cable through the bottom access port and plug it into your adapter this is totally viable and again you'd want to leave this in all the time but with modern uh, usb adapters quite easy to do you can just get an extension cable or run the cable out to whatever maybe your xbox controller or uh, whatever device you're having to power maybe it's a usb flash drive whatever it might be now most things fit through this is that 20 pin header that i was speaking of earlier indeed i have one of these floating around because it's part of one of my uh, other adapters a usb c adapter and that one indeed connects up to the front media hub giving me four usb 3.0 ports and all of that's powered through one of those PCIe lanes, which is pretty cool. So very viable, very cool adapter. Check those out. Now, next potential candidate. 
I'm quite happy with the fitment of this particular riser cable. I think this one is absolutely the one I'd recommend you to look at if you are desperate for using more PCIe lanes. No, you have to be desperate because this ain't pretty. It's definitely a risky modification. Okay, this is looking good. Let's get this GPU back out and see if we can move on to the next phase. That I will call level one, but there is a level two. Let's check out the next level. So this is looking good. Let's quickly sneak that adapter out. Be very careful on these PCI ports. Definitely don't want to damage them. If you do damage them, that is going to be a costly repair. Now, the next NVMe of interest, or rather adapter of interest, is this particular one. Quite a, I'm going to say, standard NVMe adapter. Notice there's no adaptive cooling on there. These uh, will definitely benefit from some sort of thermal solution like thermally conductive silicone. Now in terms of measurements of the one that we've confirmed that does work, I'm going to call that a 15 centimeter adapter. You'll have to do your own conversions to inches or check the video descriptions. But right now that is looking like a really good adapter. Now the next one here is a flat and flexible riser adapter. Now this one's design is a little bit different. You'll notice it's a more traditional adapter running in what I would call a vertical format compared to the other one that was a 90 degree format. Now this particular one does look, at least from a manufacturing perspective, a little bit cheaper than the other one. We do not have a reinforced uh, PCIe slot, but oh that adapter there looks a little bit, yeah I don't know, this, this one's quality looks a little bit lower. Now to be fair, in our initial assessment there, the success rate's lower and indeed I can confirm, note from the future, it's definitely not as reliable. So I wouldn't even recommend this one normally, but it does work. Not necessarily for clearing the GPU. Let me show you one of the problems with what I guess would be a, a very traditional riser cable. So because these lack that enjoying the content so far, you may want to consider subscribing and hitting that notification icon so you do not miss another video. I have a 90 degree angle, it absolutely does not clear the GPU. Allow me to demo, let's go for the lighter GPU here, but retesting that riser concept, if you had a way to mount this, that could totally work. It would definitely look the part, but you'd lose access to all those ports, so hmm, maybe not the best way to go. But let's test with our 970 here, does it fit? Okay, there is resistance. You actually see it doesn't even nearly begin to slot in. So this is the joy of these adapters. Only a very set number will fit. As I say, I've done some research. The one I found right now is uh, the one I would recommend. But this one, not in that particular slot. So it definitely doesn't fit underneath. You see a little bit of crunching on that cable. So that's not ideal. Okay, next adapter. This is another 90 degree version, but this is a shorter one, 10 centimeter. How far does this reach? What will this uh, upper? I don't know, we'll have to check. Next adapter, this one is, by my eye, a solid 25 centimeters. So quite a bit longer than the previous one. The question is, how far does that one reach? And uh, would I recommend this one? Well, let's have a look at it. I'm gonna say yes, this one's perfect for certain applications, but you'll have to stay tuned for part two of this video. Where we take it to the next level we will install two pcie adapters underneath that gpu i know it sounds crazy but it works now there were some slight problems but we will go through those in the next video so definitely consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed that content i think that's a really cool video because in the quest of performance we're trying to find that additional specification out of our machine so hopefully you'll be able to adapt that on your own machine whatever computer you may have very useful go for the extreme but we'll cover in more detail how to do the mounting of those cards but for now we've confirmed and definitely proven it's not clickbait we can do this so have a good one there i'll see you on the next video